Hi guys, this video is to show you the differences in calculating your selling prices and cost prices depending on the type of markup you are using. Now there are two markups which you need to know to calculate. The first one is a markup on cost and the second one is a gross profit percentage. Okay, the first step is always to write down your little trading statement. So sales, cost of sales and gross profit. Okay, this would help you to calculate what the, what the percentages are. So if I've told you the markup on cost is 20% or the gross profit percentage is 20%, you need to use that in this calculation. So if markup on cost is 20%, it means gross profit is 20 and the same here, gross profit is 20. The rule that you need to remember is with markup on cost, the cost of sales is always 100%. Whereas with gross profit percentage, the sales is always 100%. So we know that the 100 must go into cost of sales, and here the 100 must go into sales. The other thing which you already know is that sales minus cost of sales must give you gross profit. So now you can fill in the blank that you don't have. So what minus 100 will give you 20? The answer is 120. And for the gross profit percentage, 100 minus what is going to give you 20? The answer is 80. Once you have figured out those percentages, you can now move on to calculate your sales or cost of sales depending on what the question is requiring you to do. So if I've told you in the question, the selling price is equal to 150 Rand. And you now, and the markup on cost is 20% and you now need to go calculate cost price. There's a very simple formula which you can use. You need to say what I need divided by what I have multiplied by the rand value of what I have. So what is it that you need? You need the cost price. What is it that you have? You were given the selling price. And the rand value there would be the 150 that was given to you. So what do you need? Cost price. What is cost price? A hundred. So we're going to say a hundred divided by what I have. What I have is my selling price. According to this, my selling price is 120%. So if we put 120 at the bottom. And we'll multiply it by the rand value of what I have, which is 150. So I said what I need in percentage over what I have in percentage multiplied by what I have in Rand value. So 100 divided by 120 times by 150 Rand will give you the answer for the cost price, which is what was required. That cost price you will then transfer into your journal entries, which would normally be required of you. <coughs> for the gross profit percentage, you do exactly the same thing. If the question said cost price is equal to 180 Rand, the gross profit percentage is 20% and you now need to go calculate selling price. You follow the same formula. You say what I need divided by what I have multiplied by the rand value of what I have. So what you need in this case is the selling price. Selling price according to your trading statement is 100. What you have is the cost price. Cost price according to your trading segment is 80. And then you multiply by the rand value which was given to you as cost price of 180. So now you'll say 100 over 80 multiplied by 180, it will give you the rand value of your <coughs> selling price. 